Okay, we're going to see if these three functions are linearly dependent or linearly independent. So namely, LD or LI. Why don't you pause the video and give this a try? Okay, seriously, hopefully you guys did that. And this is not a matter of putting down LD or LI. It's not about like 50-50% to just like, you know, guess it right. It's about how you write down your argument to show the reasoning, all right? So, let's see, we have 3x, x squared, and 5x squared minus 7x. As you can see, this term matches with that term, and 3x is just a constant multiple of negative 7x as well. So I totally suspect this is linearly dependent. And to show LD, I'm going to use the definition with a constant C1, C2, C3, all right? And this is how I'm going to do it. Perhaps you can set it up like this. C1 times 3x plus C2 times x squared and then plus C3 times 5x squared minus 7x. And we make this equal to 0. And we have to think about how can we really make this equal to 0. Uh, sometimes you can do the algebra because maybe the functions right here are not as, this, as easy as this one. But if it is, just as easy as this one. You don't have to show a, a lot of algebra steps. Steps. <sighs> okay, let's see. I have 5x squared term here, right? And this is x squared term. Why don't I just pick c2 to be negative 5 to start with? Imagine I don't have the c3. Then you see negative 5x squared, and this 5x squared will cancel each other out right away. That's really nice, right? And once again, imagine I don't have the C3. I will have negative 7x right here. Well, in that case, this is the x term. Why don't I pick positive 7 over 3 for C3, I mean for C1, so that this multiplied by that, I will end up with positive 7x. That will cancel out that. Well, earlier, I said don't look at C3. But technically, I am making C3 to be 1 not zero, because if this is zero, the whole thing's gone. So anyways, I found it. C1 is this, C2 is this, C3 is that. Do we have other answers for this? Yes, there are totally other choices, you can do it. But all you have to show me is, uh, we let C1 to be seven over three, C2 to be negative five, and C3 to be one, and altogether, if you multiply, you will just get 7x minus 5x squared, and this is just plus 5x squared minus 7x equal to 0, right? If you multiply this out, of course, everything cancel out nicely. 0 is equal to 0. Done. But in this case, show me the C values like this that you want to use at the end because you found non-zero C values to make this happen. This is linearly dependent, right? These three functions are linearly dependent. That's it.